was that special time of the year again, a month where all the believers fast from morning till night in worship of their Lord Allah. Yes, it was the holy month of Ramadan in the city of Makkah on the 15th of holy month. A very special event was taking place in the house of Imam Ali alayhi salam. You see, everyone was eagerly waiting the birth of the first grandchild of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Finally, the sound of a crying baby echoed throughout the small house and the beautiful baby was gently placed in the arms of his loving father, Imam Ali alayhi salam. Imam Ali held his son tightly and wrapped him in a pure white blanket while gently giving him kisses. Prophet Muhammad was overjoyed seeing his beautiful grandchild and asked Imam Ali, What will you name him? Imam Ali replied, O oh Rasulullah, how can I make such an important decision without asking you first? Only the name that you choose will be given to this child. The Prophet smiled and replied, And I will not name this child without asking Allah first. All of a sudden a bright light shone from the sky down to earth and Angel Jibreel came down from heaven and said, O Prophet, Salamun Alaikum. Allah sends his salam and congratulates you on the birth of your beautiful grandson. Allah has sent me down with a special news of a name for this baby. Since you and Imam Ali are like Prophet Musa and his brother Harun, Allah wishes you to name this child Shabbar just like the son of Harun. Prophet Muhammad asked, O Jibreel, how do you say Shabbar in Arabic? Jibreel smiled and said, Hassan. The Prophet was very pleased upon hearing this beautiful name and announced to everyone in the room, Allah has named this child Hassan. Hassan means goodness or the doer of good. Everybody smiled and rejoiced at the Prophet's announcement. What a wonderful name for a child who would grow up to be the best of the good doers. Just like his grandfather, Imam Hassan would do many good deeds in his life. In fact, he was so kind and generous that twice in his life he gave away everything he owned to the poor. Did you know that Imam Hassan even showed kindness towards his enemies? One day a man from Damascus came and blocked Imam Hassan's way. He did not like the Prophet's family and began saying very mean and cruel words against Imam Hassan. When the man finished saying his unlike words, Imam Hassan got off his horse and smiled at the rude man. He said, Salam, O man. You seem like you are a guest in this city. If you are hungry, let me feed you. If you need something, let me help you. Please come with me to my home and be my guest. The man was shocked at Imam Hassan's kindness and tears began rolling down from his eyes. He felt ashamed of the way he had spoken to Imam Hassan. He immediately asked the Imam for forgiveness. Imam Hassan's kindness does not stop here. He was even kind to animals. One day while he was eating, a hungry dog came and sat in front of him. Imam Hassan began to tear pieces of his bread to share with the dog. One of his companions was walking by and looked surprised to see the Imam feeding the dog. He asked, O oh, Imam Hassan, if this dog is bothering you, do I have your permission to remove him so that you may finish eating in peace? Imam replied, No, it's alright. Let him be. His companion looked surprised and asked, Why, O son of Rasulullah? Imam Hassan gently answered, I would feel ashamed before Allah if I eat from his blessings while a hungry creature is looking at me and I do not share with him. Every morning, Imam Hassan would spread out a large carpet in front of his house 
where he would sit and offer to help all the poor people who were passing by. Many times, it would get so crowded outside his home that they would have to close down the street. Others, who were not poor, would come just to stare at his beautiful face, because it would remind them of Rasulullah as they watched him help the poor with such love and kindness they would be reminded of the generosity and kindness of Rasulullah. May the blessings and peace of Allah be upon Imam Hassan salam, who truly lived up to his name, the best of good doers.